So for the past few days, we have seen the One UI 3.0 rollout updates and Samsung have updated their rollout plans as well. As for the list, the Note 20 Ultra was about to get the One UI 3 update in the January 2021. But Samsung was kind enough to give the OTA update for the Note 20 Ultra here in the Middle East a bit earlier. So let me show you in this video what are the noticeable changes and adding up to that some of my pros and cons too. Don't forget to watch this video until the end. You might be the lucky winner of this giveaway contest. Okay, let's get started. Before starting, do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. For some behind the scene bloopers and fun, follow me on my Instagram account. Compared to the previous versions, One UI 3 is more polished and refined. Samsung has made a deliberate effort to make it look more elegant. It's all a bit more tweaked for ease of your use on higher displays. I like the look and feel of the One UI 3 and I assume that many Samsung fans are going to be loving that too. This is one of the first improvements you note after upgrading to the One UI 3.0. The notification shades and the fast settings now have a blurred transparent backdrop so that wallpaper and app icons can now longer be entirely covered. Samsung also simplified several choices and menus in the settings app in its attempt to declutter the interface. You will see now new icons for all classes instantly and you will notice that the Samsung account is now at the top. The battery menu will feature new graphics and icons in favor of toggles that effectively do likewise. The control mode options were substituted. These toggles give this menu a smarter look. The smart stay function available from the motion and gesture menu was also updated. The function remains same on One UI 3.0 but it is named simply keep screen on while viewing. In the apps section, two categories have been created, Samsung and non-Samsung apps. These seems to be no justification to alter this other than to require a user tap if they want to modify settings of the Samsung app. The storage menu now looks cleaner and much more structured. This helps user to understand easily what takes and most space on their phone and what is important for them to get rid of. The video enhancer feature helps you to better monitor the picture quality of the videos on One UI 3.0. Specific apps can be allowed and while left disabled for others. The volume slider has been repositioned from the top of UI 2.5 to the right of the One UI 3.0. The same place where you can find the actual volume keys. The extended volume menu now has fewer options and the same transparent background. But still reaching the top of the device single handedly is quite difficult. So I wish Samsung can bring the Mate 30 Pro style double tap volume control considering the screen size. One UI 3.0 allows you to choose between two different notification types, brief or comprehensive. The former is a new default setting that displays only basic details as opposed to the later, which is a standard card style notification pop-up that users are already familiar with. The notification history is a feature of Android 11 included in One UI 3.0. It allows you to access rejected notices from the past 24 hours. However, this function is disabled by default. The always on display looks just the same with the UI 3.0 as it did in the past. What Samsung has done is to provide more customization options, especially for GIFs. GIF format start playing automatically when the phone is locked but the animation stops a few seconds later.
All four parts have been updated cosmetically. The app drawer is designed for a more sleek look with the same aesthetics as One UI 3.0. Folders are now only showing 12 apps per tab compared to 16 earlier. Such changes are required to make smartphone displays more comprehensive. The Finder is now better than ever. In addition to programs, it can include settings and search recommendations, enabling users to quickly locate what they are searching for. The latest app display may also show us similar aesthetics. The same transparent feeling we notice again, only so that it seems a little cleaner. One UI 3.0 remediates the long press menu for applications in the app drawer and the home screen and display the name of the app in addition to various features accessible directly. The option adds add to home and uninstall have been repositioned below. Now you can long press an application and view its widgets. If you tap the widgets button here and menu pops up offering a variety of widgets to select from. You will be able to customize the mobile you liked and instantly add it to the home screen. Quite good, isn't it? This does not work for lock screen widgets or the always on display. The look and feel of the lock screen in One UI 3.0 has subtly improved by Samsung. The fingerprint sensor display icon is little bit different and the animations are a little different as well. The clock and the notification have been moved down to the center while a new lock icon is underneath the camera punch hole. The apps on the left and right corners are no longer colorful. The app buttons are transparent and grayscaled. The widgets on the lock screen are also a little different. You can also reach the widget page to see the different choices while tapping the clock. If you are talking about the locking your phone, you can double tap any area on the empty screen to lock your phone and turn off the screen. This is quite an old feature, but Samsung has just introduced. The very useful Bixby routine function gets an overall new user interface with One UI 3.0. Suggestions are shown at the top and the presets have been clearly categorized and explained to make it easier for user to understand. One UI 3.0 comes with the latest company browser version, Samsung Internet version 13.0. Here too, several cosmetic changes have been made. There's a new grid view to open tabs, better menu layout, and the status bar icon will vanish as you click. Samsung with One UI 3.0 has updated the user interface of Gallery app as well. Rather than displaying four pictures, there are now three, perhaps a further changes caused by bigger screens. After editing the image, the edited picture could return to its original state in the picture editor. Samsung redesigned the contacts and phone settings for the new iteration of One UI 3.0. Merging or deleting of the duplicate contacts is simple and multiple contacts can be edited simultaneously. The contacts search function is also enhanced. The look of the incoming call screen can also be changed now. The background color of the call screen can be changed. A picture from the gallery can also be added and even the layout of the caller details can be changed. One UI 3.0 also includes a small but useful change to the native messaging app. It gets a recycle bin. Once a thread is deleted, it stays in the trash for up to 15 days for you to restore it before it permanently wipes. The UI of the calendar app has also been improved as well. All the calendar events are now separated as a different cards instead of coming together as one. These are some of the noteworthy changes. If I miss something, then do put down in the comments. Maybe we can try to make a part two of this. Samsung, as usual, did very good refinements, but still they missed out some notable stuffs. Who knows, it might be coming in the future. So about the giveaway contest, one of you might be the lucky winner of the three months YouTube premium. So to win this, follow the link in the description below. 
everything is explanatory in that window so you can easily understand and you can participate in the contest one lucky winner will be chosen on 29th of january 2021 so all the best with that being said this is manish you're watching tech and spice i'll meet you in the next one until then stay safe take care bye